Hi, I'm Keith Esserick, I'm with the Care Start Sound. I'm Trent Hummel, I'm a pediatric neuro-oncologist at Cincinnati Children's Hospital and a board member of the Care Start Now. I want to talk a little bit about DIPG mm -hmm. um, and I, I guess the causes of DIPG, but there isn't necessarily, I guess, that, that link to it. Right, right. There's no, there's no one thing that we can put our finger on that says this causes DIPG, right? There's no, there's no environmental cause that we know. There's no um, genetic cause that we know. Um, it's just unfortunate we haven't been able to, to determine that yet. Well, I think that, but that's also what we're trying to do with things like the D International DIPG <laughs> Registry, registry right. um, and, and with uh, you know, this IAB Registry is we're trying to collect that information so that we can maybe detect those patterns exactly. as well. Exactly. Um, with regards to that, uh, there's been, there's some information out there and some various research protocols that are focused on uh, the, the um, possibility that DIPG stems from birth. Mm -hmm. um, can you speak a little bit to that and, and, and whether that's something that uh, the community is kind of leaning towards or not? I think some of us uh, in, the research, in, the, the, in the research field have looked at that um, as far as well, that cell of origin, the, the cell that causes DIPG, that arises, uh, that, gives, that gives birth, so to speak, yeah. to DIPG. Um, I think it's not quite clear if it is coming from a from a cell that is involved uh, or from around from a birth, but it makes sense when you think about the, the ages that we see. Um, and I think we need just more information. Um, we need more research, more funding to see, uh, to do more investigations into those cells of origin. Let's talk about another uh, subject that comes up a lot too, mm -hmm. and that is the idea of uh, environmental factors or clustering of yeah. the IPG. And, and typically what we see is we have um, one hospital that may come on board, especially with an international registry, and then all of a sudden we get a lot of diagnosis in one area. Yeah. And they may not be connected to it, but is there anything that parents or patients should be looking at in that realm? Um, again, there's nothing that, that, uh, that we can put our finger on that says there's a clustering of DIPGs in this area of the country. Um, the registry is helping us look at that. I think what you're finding now is it's becoming, unfortunately, more well known out there, and more, um, you know, more people are more aware of it, and so uh, that may lead to the sort of illusion, if you will, that oh, there are there's a lot more DIPGs in my home area, when the reality is is that when you look at the the data behind it, there um, there isn't that much more um, than even five, 10 years ago. But e even with that it being said, uh, the best thing that, a, that you can do um, as a parent, as a patient, as a family member of these uh, uh, DIPG patients is to contribute information. Right, and that's absolutely. What the, that's what the registries are set up for, and there's a link you can find here on a page to uh, DIPGregistry.org. But what it will do is the more information that we can get as, as a group, the better that we can try to determine whether there's any, any right. Substance to these patterns. Absolutely. Well. The, the more information and the more data we have, the more we can come back and do another video and say, actually, uh, thanks to efforts uh, for people on the registry, we do have this information now. But at this point, we don't. And we're already getting a lot of uh, trend data that we've never had before. Mm -hmm. I mean, within this, we have. Um, you know, it, it, we're going way over, but we're, we're over probably 1,400 or more mm -hmm. different patients. And that's mm -hmm. a lot. Right. That's a huge number right. for the DIPG community. And so we're already able to look across these and try to work on these patterns with it. And so you can find more online, more even more current information, too, simply right. by going to this page or uh, going back to that link to DIPG Registry, Registry to find out more.